Um, hello and good evening to everyone anyway. Thank you for taking the time out this evening uh, to take part in this event. My name is Mark Hill and I'm the Secretary of the Rescue the River Shannon Group, who are a group of ordinary people that comprise of fishermen, farmers, reed cutters, mothers and fathers. We were initially set out to we were initially set up to share and highlight the concerns that we had for our local environment. As the months went on and our concerns grew, we learned more and more about what really is going on in this county. We went from being concerned to being very aware that there are severe and potentially dangerous problems, some of which have already resulted in the total destruction of certain areas. Yet the local and national governments seem to be hell-bent and just adding more. So why is the question that we're asking tonight. I grew up seeing the destruction of an entire community happening around me. Dozens of farmers losing animals by the hundreds. Parents were fearing for their children's health, and sadly some of those parents found that their fears became reality. Many people, including the large majority of you all here, I would imagine may probably have never heard about what happened in the Skeeton. I'll just finish up with this. We've made this film because it had to be made. As a 14 or 15 year old boy looking out of my bedroom window, and a plume of black smoke going off in the distance as Ahendish was blowing out one of its boilers to atmosphere. I was watching my entire neighborhood suffer and everything else was being covered up and remained unanswered. And I thought to myself, why is nobody doing anything about this? Little did I know then that 28 years later that I and many others present here tonight, they all know who they are, would be trying to do something about it. The Gordon Drama Incinerator and Irish Cement and Mungard are only going to be escalating to already existing problems in this area. They are going to become your children's ahenna shift to go ahead. The old saying, your health is your wealth, has nowadays become, their wealth is your health. That, that is why we have made this film for you all to watch. And to cap it off, I personally consider that Limerick County Council are going to make thousands of people hostages in their own homes, afraid of what is in the very air that they breathe because of the council's ambitions, their non-professionalism, and perhaps their greed. Thank you very much.